I have my lights on distracting mode. <laughs> so a while ago, I made a video where I was creating a full overlay pack for one lucky winner. And while I was making this overlay pack, I thought of an idea. I was like, hey, I would like to be able to rotate not just a social media banner, but like anything that I wanted. I wanted to be able to show the supporters, you know, recent follower, recent donator and all that, but I didn't want it to show on screen all the time. So I had to find a way to basically cover it up or make it become transparent for a little bit and then come back up from time to time. Now the limit that I said to myself was I needed to be able to do it in OBS Studio vanilla, if you will, without any plugins so I could easily transfer it to the winner. And I figured something out. In this video, we are going to be recreating just this. I want to show you step by step an easy way to have an animated mask in OBS Studio. A quick message from our sponsor and then we can begin. This video is sponsored by Own Pro. Own Pro is a service that is dedicated to giving streamers everything they need for a successful career. With Own Pro, you get all types of widgets such as alert boxes, stream labels, event lists, a chat bot, even copyright free music. But on top of that, you get over 600 full premium overlay packs that you have access to anytime you want. You can install them in one click. But on top of that, those 600 plus overlay overlays are available in over nine languages. Own Pro is completely free to try, but if you want to get the premium version, you can use my code to get a whole 50% off. That's right, I didn't say 15, I said 50. So check it out at own.gg slash pro. That's O-W-N-3-D slash level pro. All right, let me try to explain the principle of what we're gonna be doing today. Basically, I figured out if I wanted to hide something, I could use a green screen because OBS has a chroma key filter within. And since we can put scenes into scenes, we just need a scene with the specific source that we want to hide and then have a green screen animate up and then am an am emanate, animate down or left or right. It doesn't matter. Basically, the green screen needs to cover it when we want it to hide. And then I think you guess it. This t-shirt is a green screen. Imagine. So I'm here. I'm a labels bar, recent follower. It's your favorite streamer. And then at some point, green screen goes up. With the chroma key filter, I'm completely transparent right now. And then boom, I appear again. Easy clap. But that means we do need to animate a green screen going up and down in the intervals that we want, right? Let me show you how I did that. The key thing here is transparency. You need to do it in a software that allows you to have video transparency. So this is the animation. Let me put it back up. So for about five seconds, it's completely transparent. So that's when we will reveal our labels bar, for example. And then green screen goes up, little animation, little ease in, ease out. And then uh, towards the 14 second mark, it's going to go back down, creating a perfect loop that I can just put in any scene. I also made it 1080p so I could apply it to anything else. I will make it available for you for free so that you can apply it to anything else. Now there's multiple ways of exporting with transparency. If you're a newbie doobie at After Effects, you probably tried AVI, but your file was two gigs. One thing that I like to do is usually go to composition, add to render queue. And then here I will go with QuickTime because I have QuickTime installed and it's compatible. Make sure format option is on animation. And then we have RGB plus alpha. This is RGB plus alpha is transparency, basically. So it's the colors, the pixels that are in the thing, but also alpha is basically this is transparent. This is not OK. Let's turn off the audio. We don't have any audio. And then here it would export an MOV. That is one way of doing it. But there's a little plugin that allows you to export in WebM with an alpha channel, which is the transparency. And it's going to compress the file and it's going to be super small. You're just not going to be able to put it in another editing software because it's weird. But if you want a small file size, you don't want to clog up your computer. This is the way to go. So I'm going to put this link in the description also. So it's fnordware.com slash webm. Uh, you just click here for Windows, you install it, and it's going to be appearing on your Premiere and also Media Encoder. If you're using a legit version of Adobe After Effects, you can, back to your comp you can go back to your composition with the composition and then click add to media encoder queue. So it doesn't add the possibility to export the WebM from for After Effects, only media encoder and Premiere, I guess. But thank God, if we're using a legit version, we can just export from After Effects to media encoder directly. Uh, looks like I had other things here. Doesn't matter. All right, so from here, we're gonna click on the format and in format here, we're gonna go down to WebM. Let's scroll here just to make sure we see what's going on. Yes, we do. And then click include alpha channel. That is the key. That is the key to transparency bars. Okay, click OK. Um, actually, you might want to put it somewhere safe. 
I'm gonna call this green screen. Press save and then press OK. And then we can just press play top right in order to export it. Let's do it. You're gonna see it might take a little bit longer than usual to render, but it's worth it since the file size it's gonna is gonna be like super low compared to any other format. .mov, .avi, WebM is better. <laughs> My food is almost there. Now this is a 1080p, 60 FPS, high quality. I could have lowered the quality because it doesn't matter that much. It's just a green screen, but hey. And boom, it is exported. Okay, now in OBS, like I'm, I'm using OBS to record, I forgot about that part, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and try to import a labels bar or, or anything else really. And I wanna try it with groups. I wanna see if I can just do this within a group or if I have to use like nested scenes, basically scenes within scenes. Let's go ahead and find an image source. Boom, image, doesn't matter. And we'll find one of my mini overlay packs. They all have a labels bar, well, most of them. Edge, for example, let's click ex export. Labels affiliate, there you go, boom, there it is. Okay, cool, sorry for the inception, but I need to enable this so I can move it around. So there it is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add a media source in order to uh, import our green screen because it's a, it's a video, it's a media source. Let me turn off preview for now. Click plus, go to media source, click okay, find it wherever you exported it. And one thing that's important, we will have to click on loop. There it is. Click open and then as well, before we click open, the bottom here loop, we want it to loop forever basically. Click open, boom, boom. So right now, nothing. In five seconds, it's gonna go up. Let's go. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna pause it because that's a possibility in OBS Studio. Go down real quick, you see, pause here. Boom, gonna pause it. And in here on the source list, I want to group them. So I have my image, the labels bar, and I have my media source, the green screen. I'm gonna hold shift. Wait, what? Okay, hold shift to select both of them. I'm gonna right click. Can I group them like that? I've never, oh, group selected item. There we go. <laughs> I almost never use this. And this is gonna be labels. Nice. I can collapse it if I want to, it doesn't matter. The cool thing with groups is that I believe you can add filters to a group. Let's do that, let's do exactly that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna preemptively add the chroma key. I'm gonna right click, go to filters on the group. Make sure you're right clicking on the group. Don't add the green screen filter to the green screen because uh, you're just like making the green screen transparent. Uh, as you can see, we have our whole group showing up, which is great. Let's click plus and let's click chroma key. Now, the cool thing with chroma key is that it selects green as the default color, so it should just basically be fine already. You might want to tweak the similarity if you're, if you're getting weird artifacts or, or anything like that. Click close and I'm going to click play on it. I'm going to give you a first pass. I have no idea if it's going to work here, but let's see. Meanwhile, I'm going to do a little dance while I smell my KFC. Did it work? Is the label completely transparent right now? And it's going to get back in right now. Can you see the labels? All right, let me stop this and then enable the preview so I can see if my thing works. Crossing my fingers. Now, of course, we saw how big the animation is. It's 1080p, so it's the beginning of the animation that basically covers up the label. So what we can do is stretch it in a way so that we get the full animation, the, the picking up speed and slowing down. I don't know if this is making sense for you, but I'm gonna hold shift. Shift is what you hold when you want to stretch things in OBS. I'm gonna hold shift while this is not even visible right now. And I'm gonna stretch the media source, which is what we're looking for, right? Remember, we can see the, the thing here. I'm gonna bring it here and I'm just gonna bring it up. Okay, so how you see how we have a smoother transition? That's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I was looking for. Nice. Now here's the thing, since we are within that group, the second thing that I wanted to try is, can I stretch it so I can have one of them at once? It's really distracting me. Can I stretch it in a way so that if I wanna show the, the cheers first, I wanna show the subs first, but there's a problem because, you know, they all start at the same time. Isn't there a filter for delays? Let's try it out, I'm literally improvising this video. <laughs> all right. Let me show you. So I'm going to select this, this being the media source, so the green screen. 
Uh, hello. Why is it not playing? Okay, it's just not playing <laughs> by itself. I'm gonna stretch it to just one of them. Holding shift to stretch, remember? Boom. In this case, it works well because, you know, my labels bar just looks like that. Okay, okay. We'll probably like invert the animation so that it go it shows like it reveals from top to bottom. I guess it does, but when it goes out, you can you, you do the animation if you have to. But now I would have to duplicate this. Copy and I would duplicate a reference is my only option. Uh, if I'm pasting, I can only paste as a reference. Meaning if I had if I add a filter, would that cross over? And then filters here, what I was talking about is clicking plus and is there a delay? Render delay. Oh yes. Click OK. And let's add 100 milliseconds. 200 milliseconds, let's say. So we can really see it. Okay. We also might want to move this around. I actually don't see it. It's not showing me. Oh, the, the duplicate didn't work. What is going on, OBS? Let me delete it and add it again. So right click, copy, right click, paste, reference. I'm going to keep it in the group so that the I don't have to add the, the chroma key anymore. I can select one, but not the other. Where's the other OBS? If you can only paste if we can, if you can only paste reference, it's going to be annoying to do that. It's basically not going to be possible. So all we have to do is just add a new media source. What the heck was that noise? That was spooky. So I'm going to delete that one and press plus, uh, go to media source, call this media source two if you want, and then add the same green screen effect, loop it again, and I'm going to format it real quick. By format, I mean, I'm going to stretch it. So in this specific case, it's kind of annoying because we're doing like three different ones. But if you just want to do one of them, that's fine. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to put it in the group. I'm going to right click, click filters, plus add render delay. Add, uh, yeah, let's put a whole second in between them. Wait, what? It's not letting me add more. Let me, <laughs> what is going on? Let me type a thousand. Jesus. Whatever, we'll put nine. I can't put 900. Is there a limit on this? Okay, let's put 500 millisecond. Everything is going wrong. Okay, I'm going to click away from the scene, go back. So they all start at the same time and let's see if there's a difference. There is. I don't think I need to show you how you would do it in a different scene, but basically you would do the exact same thing, but in a different scene without groups in that case. And you would add this scene as scene. See, plus scene. You would pick the scene here. You see, I have scene two. I would click here, add scene two. I don't remember. I have nothing on scene two. And then you would add the filter, the chroma key to the scene. Boom. That's it. Now, this uh, example might be underwhelming because I'm just moving around with uh, some labels bar. But my other video that I made about animated mask for camera overlays or just cameras, actually, um, I use the exact same technique. So a lot of you ask me, hey, but how do I create those masks because I didn't I just give them to you. I didn't show you how I create them uh, just like that. Basically, everything but where the, the camera is going to be is going to be a green screen. That's it. And then I just put it on top of my camera add the chroma key filter animated mask. For example, this was the blob. And that's all it is. In After Effects, I went I, I animated this and it's right there. So whatever type of animation you want to do, usually you want to keep in mind the format of your camera, in this case, 1080p, of course, um, square to round. That's another one. Let me put this quarter. And this basically turns the camera to from a square to a rounder shape, basic stuff. This one was to add a little bit of um, transition that happens from time to time within a 10 second period. So there would be like transparency flowing through the camera, just like that. And in the middle would be like, I don't know. I was just testing stuff at this point. <laughs> and then I also created some borders that would go with specific camera overlays. Uh, those are the borders. So the rounded rectangle one uh, is just like a jelly. But if I wanted the green screen, as you can see right there, I can turn off this and boom, it's just jelly rounded rectangle. Uh, this one is called data side. And it's just like the corners are animated a little bit with some um, fractal noise animations. But this doesn't render that well because there's a lot of transparency 
issues. So if you have the possibility to animate a couple of things with transparency, then uh, you, just, you can just animate some green screen to do whatever to your, to your sources, to your gameplay sources, to your camera sources, to your labels, to anything that you want within OBS Studio without installing any plugin or doing anything complicated really. Now, if you cannot animate the one green screen that I showed you, I'm gonna make that available. Check out the link in the description. It will probably be a Mediafire file. And uh, you will also see how the WebM file is like super small. If you don't like the length of it, you can actually slow it down or make it faster with an OBS. Just check out the properties of your media source. But yeah, that's the technique. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch because I've been streaming more and more often, I say as I'm going for a one week vacation. But do follow me on Twitch because I'm out here streaming for you. And we can talk about Twitch stuff or other stuff. That's fine. I play Valheim. I play Apex. I play VR games. Anyways, if you're looking for some dope overlays, go to gumroad.com slash get level. This is where I keep the free ones, but also the very very inexpensive ones. So check him out. In the meantime, I gotta say, thank you so much for watching. Go out there, uh, make me proud. Oh, guy level out. I don't know why. That, what? <laughs>